guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Tsukhafato, and today I'm going to be sharing how I managed to save money and live life. So if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section. And if you have any other tips to share about saving money, please also drop them in the comment section. Before we get started, I'd like to put out a disclaimer that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply sharing my journey for entertainment and educational purposes. And yeah, let's get started! <laughs> that really helps me save my money is creating a budget like I love budgeting so much I don't know if there's anyone else that loves budgeting more than me but I will create my excel spreadsheet and track everything because there's this quote that I really like that says that if you don't tell your money where to go you'll wonder where it went so I like to use this rule called the 50 30 20 rule so it's kind of a guideline to help you manage your money so the rule states that 50% of your money should go towards your needs 30% goes towards your wants and 20% goes Goes towards savings but I have adjusted the numbers a bit for myself because for example I still live at home so I don't have a rent or a bond to pay so I don't have that much money that needs to go like towards my needs so I can put more towards savings so that really helps the second way I managed to save money is by reducing expenses so this one is tied in with budgeting because budgeting helps you track your income and expenses so you can take a look at your expenses and see if there's an area that you're overspending in or if there's a service you're paying for and you're not really using. So how I managed to save money by reducing expenses, for example, is that I'm part of my sister's Apple Music family plan. I've been part of it for the past two years, so don't pay for that. Shout out to her. So like you can create a family plan and share it with like your friends and then you guys can like take turns paying for that. And there's also some streaming services. I know there's new rules these days and some of them don't allow you to share, but those that you can share, you can also like take turns paying so that you don't have to pay it um, every single month. That's what I've been doing for the past like year or two. So now I'm worried about all these new rules. I'm like, mm, am I ready to spend like every month for that? But yeah, that's what I've been doing and it's really been helping me out. Number three is to create a separate bank account for saving because guys, at the end of the day, we are human. If you have like your money in your like normal everyday account, you can get tempted to use it. You know, sometimes you have a hard day and you're like, hmm, you know what? I deserve to treat myself and you end up using that money so having a separate account can help you you know not do that and it also makes it easier to like track your savings I like to use time bank for saving because it also allows you to create goal saves so you can like create different goals that you're saving towards and then put money in like the different goal saves and to track what you're saving towards which brings me to point number four knowing what you're saving towards guys this is really important because if you're just like, oh, like I'm just saving money it's easy to end up spending it because you don't really know why you're saving it so just deciding what are you saving this money towards like paying off your car traveling um, for your future education stuff like that just knowing what you're saving towards makes it so much easier to actually commit to saving like every month every week when you actually know what the end goal is the last way I managed to save money is by actually making more money so I have my full-time job where I earn an income every month but I also do have a couple of side hustles which bring in more money and something that is very important is always living in your means because once you start making more money and seeing all those zeros and everything you start getting excited and you want to upgrade your lifestyle but it's always important to remember what the end goal is and that will really help to keep you focused and I also like to save towards things that I want like for example if I want to travel or if I want to get a new pair of sneakers then I also like to save towards that so I can avoid making impulse purchases and you know just spending too much money that I haven't planned or budgeted for but yeah guys that's how I managed to save my money and live life and yeah guys that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please drop your tips in the comment section how do you manage to save money what helps you anything guys please share your tips in the comment section and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!